Hello, good people. Emmanuel Sain Safali bring you the Promise Insurance Show. And uh, this time around, we want to talk about uh, the medical insurance of uh, what we call the, the seniors. Um, let's start with this catchphrase. They say, they took care of you. Take care of them for our J Senior Health Cover. So before going into this, let's just listen to this uh, video on uh, by IRA, the regulator on what you, you need to check out for when you're looking up for a medical insurance company. Thank you. So I urge members of the public first to, to engage licensed players. It's very important for you to engage licensed players because we are able to have oversight of how they operate and where they place their monies and what they do with them. So it's very important for you to engage these licensed players as published on our website and also in the newspapers at the beginning of every year. Secondly, it's very important for you to purchase a medical insurance policy. It's for your own good. It, it enables you to predict your expenses because you don't need to walk around with cash all the time. You don't know when your children will fall sick. You don't know when your family member will fall sick. And often, time and again, we have seen members of the public requesting for contributions. But you never know that when any of these uh, members of the public will not be able to contribute. And so to avoid such, such scenarios, it's best for you to have a medical insurance policy as a backup. Medical insurance policy acts as a backup for you such that uh, you, you have an assured partner along the journey, someone to be able to pay your bills. That policy may not pay for you 100%, depending on how much premium you're also willing to purchase. But as long as you're able to have a backup, you're also able to transfer this risk to the insurance company and avoid unnecessary conveniences. Then that we have encountered uh, complaints from the public every now and again. So if you're, you're being faced by some challenges with a, your insurance player, please engage us. But remember, you have to engage the insurance company firstly, and if you fail to resolve a conflict, then you can proceed and uh, report the same conflict uh, to the, the Complaints Bureau of the Insurance Regulatory Authority of Uganda. We are here to receive the complaints from the public, and then we, are, we have the mandate and we have the power to summon the insurance company to explain the why and the how they, they have done what they have done and how we can resolve the matter together, such that uh, we are able to reach common ground with the policy holder and the insurance company. Of course, this uh, conflict resolution is also in line with your policy document. So we can't run away from the fact that all operations of the insurance policy are governed by this policy that you sign. So even when we are we are listening to complaints, we have to do that in line, definitely with best practices and also in line with the policy that you signed as the policy holder. So please read your policy documents before signing. It's very important for you to know what is covered and what is not covered because it enables you to plan and to know what to expect. Do you have a copayment on a particular benefit? Do you have a copayment at a certain hospital? It's important for you to know this because you never know when you end up at that very hospital that has a copayment. And then if before you you rushed uh, before you rushed into the doctor's room, you told you asked you requested to pay that copayment, so, and yet you won't be prepared if you had no prior information. So it's very important for you to know what is covered within your policy document, but. But and foremost, more important than all those things, the insurance policy can only respond when you have done your part and after you have paid your premiums. So please pay the premiums that are due to the insurance company to enable them to be able to pay the bills as and when they fold you. Because without Oh uh, thank you. Um I think uh, she has been very elaborate, so let's just look into of course, we already looked at this. This is how the flyer looks like. They said they took care of you, take care of them. So this time, what look at the just senior health cover and what it entails, and why do we need the just senior? Because for the first time, uh, we're covering people above sixty-five years. Before, as you can see, the population, uh, as per October twenty twenty-three, there's percentages we have. 1.4 percent of the population of the 46 million below 
I mean above the age of uh, 60 years. Then below 65 and uh, 69, we have 0.8% of the 46 million. It's a very small percentage. So the percentages keep growing down up to the age of 80 plus. It's still a very low percentage. But these people have been, have been left out for a very long time. That's why I wanted to start with them. But we shall also discuss other medical insurance policies for the people in the younger categories. So this is very important for us to start with. But um, so let's look at how the policies look like. What is entailed in the package? So there are different uh, limits that are uh, entailed in this product. We said you have to look out for what we call inpatient benefits. That's the core and the compulsory package. So we have from bronze to diamond. Bronze, you have a limit of up to 20 million, uh, 50 million for silver, 70 million for gold, 160 million for diamond. And what are we covering for the pre-existing conditions? These are chronic congenital conditions, existing, uh, not existing, and all diagonized at the time of joining, subject to full disclosure, the time of joining, six months waiting period. So there's a six month waiting period for this, for existing conditions that they have been mentioned here. That is seven million uh, covered for under bronze, 12 million under silver, 16 million under gold, and 21 million under diamond. For cancer treatment, for people who already have cancer, if it's as a pre-existing condition, there's a two year waiting period. That is very, um, I mean, that's the only way you can manage to cover your own. In the first year, we can't cover you. In the second year, we have to wait up to the second year. So we keep monitoring, at least within that period, for us to say that we are comfortable to cover you. Organ transplant, also two year waiting period. Much as here, the limit slightly increases to 8 million under the bronze package, 12 million, 16 million, and 20 million. Psychiatric conditions under lim limit, Inpatient limit, six month waiting period. Of course, um, if you have any existing conditions, you have to tell us so that we can cover you at least up to three million, uh, up to nine million, depending on the limit. HIV and related conditions, also a six month waiting period that is covered. Bed limits, 200,000, 300, uh, up to 600,000, depending on the limit. Then newly diagnosed conditions within the inpatient in the first year of diagnosis. Uh, we cover you up to 7 million to 21 million, depending on, um, on the limit, uh, on the category you choose. Non-accidental related surgery, this is a waiting period of six months, 4 million. This means in case you get an accident and uh, you need a surgery on your mouth or area, they will have to do a surgery up to 4 million to 9 million for that particular one. So there, there are lots of benefits here. I can't go through all of them. Uh, we can, if you're interested, if things like gynecology and uh, prostate surgery, that also requires its uh, seven, a two year waiting period. Um, inpatient accident related uh, treatment, excluding correction of reflective, that is also as uh, Two million, it's also covered, 2 million, 2.5 million to 3.5 million. Post-hospitalization treatment, where there is no, you know, um, outpatient cover if it has been fully utilized, we can cover up to 400,000. That is after you have been hospital, you have been discharged, we can cover you within that period. Up to 400,000, up to three weeks after discharge, 800,000, up to 1 million uh, shillings after three weeks discharge. That is for the diamond package. Then local road ambulance to the hospital for emergency, those are covered. Uh, commercial air evacuation out of Uganda must be pre-authorized for treatment, not available or not safe to undertake locally. That is not covered in the first two categories. The first two, um, uh, that is uh, bronze and uh, gold. And silver, bronze and silver is not covered, but it's covered under the gold and under the uh, diamond package, at least within um, Africa, uh, with, that's South Africa, mostly Kenya, uh, India, Pakistan. Those are countries that are covered within, under the Jubilee Network. COVID extension is also covered. 
uh, or if it's only hospitalization up to 5 million uh, to 9 million shillings depending on the limit funeral expenses yes many people fear are dying but death is part of us as long as you, you are alive you know that you will also die one time so there's also an extension to that of 1.5 million to 3 million shillings so depending on the limit okay um okay the war is also covered now let's go to the outpatient Outpatient, you are telling you that the limit is uh, 2.5 million and 3.5 million, uh, 4.5 million and 5.5 million, depending on the limit. Uh, what are pre existing conditions going to cover? There's a waiting period of uh, six months. These are the psychiatry, congenital conditions, these are covered, but there's a six months waiting period. If you have, you have declared that they're uh, pre existing, they have been there before. Cancer, same thing, two years. We can't cover you within uh, much as you have to disclose to us. If you don't disclose to us, even after the two years, we won't cover you. So that's very important to note. HIV, six months waiting period, that's also covered within the outpatient limit. Then there are also annual health checks or vaccinations at the centers that uh, the insurer has uh, pre-authorized or has uh, negotiated. Usually, we're going to look at now the limits, I mean, uh, the service providers shortly. So that we can know what is uh, which hospitals now to approach when you're doing those health uh, annual health checks or vaccinations. Now we're covering up to four hundred thousand, up to nine hundred thousand, depending on the category you have chosen. So routine dental uh, benefits annual limit of three hundred thousand to one point two million shillings, uh, depending on the limit. And uh, benefits, of course, they're talking about the dental consultation and things like that. Routine optical. So routine, now that's for the people who are on to spec, so have any issues with the eyes that are not, of course, accident related. Now, this is 300,000 to 1.2 million shillings. We're covering friends and uh, prescription lenses, name it. But of course, once we give them to you, we give you up to two years you can't change them within the first two i mean within two years so if you get them in 2024 you'll next get in 2026 okay um now this is very key to note as you have had the ira lady uh madame Massey, she talked about you have to be very keen is your cap policy covering uh a co-payment element uh, in some of those hospitals, this has to be very declared very, very in bold so that you know that for me, my package or what I can afford requires a co payment. Meaning, this kind of package, if you choose the one with co payment, you'll be paying 30,000 shillings in such hospitals like Nakasero, IHK, Kampala Hospital, Case Hospital, and Platinum Hospital. So that is for both outpatient and uh, okay, mostly outpatient, not at uh, inpatient. Then you also have an option of no co-payment option, but this one increases your inpatient and outpatient premium by 10%. We shall see that uh, detail shortly. Uh, for general conditions, of course, there's a general waiting period of 30 days for new entrants uh, on illnesses, uh, but there's no waiting period for accident-related treatment. So that is very general for the people who are coming in as individuals or the adapt advanced age. Then, uh, MRI, CT scan, on pre-authorization. These are things that are very important when you want to do those CT scans. The hospital you're going to has to inform us. Then fibroids, uh, these are very technical terms, and they will tell you that you will be uh, there's a waiting period of one year. Things like fibroids uh, and the cotomy, hypomodotrochomy, tonsilloctomy. These are for the tensiles, uh, you know. Tensolites, name it. Cancer treatment, organ transplant will be subject to two year waiting period. Uh, pre existing conditions, name it. There's a number of things. These are the eligible members, of course, we're looking at 60 to 80 years. Uh, cancer treatment, we talked about all those are covered. Uh, routine health. Okay. So there are, there are lots of things, uh, but not so big. These are a five-page document. If you want it, you can look into it. So now let's look at uh, the side providers. Of course, you talked about, you have to look at this list. This was a list as of uh, November. It keeps updating almost every six months. Uh, so 
we are looking at specialistic, uh, pediatric, uh, OBS, there's obstetrician and gynecology, orthopedics, radiography, um, ear, nose and throat, dermatology, internal medicine, etc. So this one talks about the, uh, the area, if it's Bombo, Novi Hospital, they talk about all those kind of hospitals, Bugolovi, it is very key to note. Then you look at uh, telemedicine, you can use um, Rocket Health. Um, this actually also saves on your utilization because their consultation is just 10,000 every time you call them and they give you the treatment. Um, compared to some hospitals where the consultation is actually about 50,000 to 100,000. Uh -huh. General practitioners, specialists on treatment and uh, call. Okay, these are general practitioners. There's a number of them. This list has over 400 service providers all over the Kampala, uh, outside of Kampala, Mukono, you are seeing earlier different outskirts of uh, Kampala are all uh, related here. So there's also laboratory. You have to look at this is at Lancet. If you have any lab issue that uh, is not covered in your hospital, you can go to Lancet. They can give you a prescription to go to Lancet. Then ambulance, the city ambulance, that is uh, something that was utilized then. Uh, obstre obstetrics and gynecology, these are the speci specialistic centers that you can use. This is Bosinja Medical, uh, Sarek Medical Consultation, and then Bethany Women's Hospital in Luzira. Mental, we have also Butalika. Pediatrics, okay, now of course this one doesn't cover mostly the this may not really work so much on the seniors but still it's also very important to look out for that ear nose and throat we those are the centers uh saint catherine's hospital uh link life link name it of course some people have issues so there are lots of options and it's a difference between medical insurance and IH hmos uh orthopedics coastal hospital these are people with the bones dermatology there is, uh, these are the hospitals available. Um, urology, this is uh, things of the kidney, radiography, radiology, sorry. And then these are again, um, most like lab, but again, uh, these are the CT scans and things like that. Um, they are also there. So, so physiotherapy, these the centers are there. Optical facilities, the uh, facilities are there. It's quite a huge judgment. I can't go into all of it. Then ophthalmology. Now this is like the major eye surgery. You can use the Georgina Eye Care Clinic or Mango Eye Clinic. Dental services, facilities, the, the number of them. I can't mention all. Then upcountry districts. These are named alphabetically. So they start from all the way from Abim, Ajumani, Agago, Apak, name it. Arua, uh, Bujiri, Bulisa, Busheni, name it, Gulu, any part of uh, the country, because this is a cover within uh, Uganda. Kanungu, Kapchora, name it. All these districts, as you can see, because today for the people who are saying that insurers are discriminate, no, we're in all parts of the country. Okay, much as it doesn't uh, refuse us to cover you, even outside of uh, Uganda. Then pharmacies, we have to look at uh, the number of pharmacies, uh, CNA pharmaceuticals, uh, there's Novik Pharmacy, there's uh, Onco Pharmacy. This is for cancer-related uh, uh, drugs only. Um, Vita Care, Guardian Health, name it. Um... Okay, so that is all for the medical centers. Now let's look at what is the premium. Okay, we said uh, if you chose the bronze, there are limits. These are the limits, uh, the packages under this particular say, bronze. Now let's look at uh, package by package. If you start at the bronze, uh, you want to be covered 20 million, or this is a senior person, they will be covered up to 20 million for inpatient in case they're hospitalized. Outpatient for those consultations, the medicines you get, that will be 2.5 million. Uh, dental, 300,000, and optical, 300,000. Then that's expense, 1.5 million. For such a person, the premium with co payment 
the premium is going to be 2.5 million shillings. Yeah. Then without co-payment, remember that you're adding a 10% uh, on the inpatient and outpatient premium. So this premium is going to increase by about 2.4. I mean, at 240,000. So it's going to reach to 2.7. Then such that now the premium with the premium with the taxes is going to be 2.755 million for the whole year. So this is very, I hope this is very clear. Let's go to silver. We are covering 50 million, 3.5 million, 600,000 for dental and optical and 2.25 uh, uh, million uh, for the year. In case you, you know, the person passes on, that's the expense. The premium for this package is going to be 3.1 million shillings for the whole year with copayment in the facilities that they mentioned above the Nakasero, the Kapala uh, Hospital, the case name it. But without copayment, you will increase to about 3.47 million for the year. Then gold comes to 70 million, the benefits, uh, 4.5, uh, 900,000 and 900,000 for dental and optical, and 3 million shillings for the last expense. The premium here is 3.6 for the copayment. And then four million and twenty-five thousand without copayment. Diamond is one sixty million in terms of hospitalization, five point five million. Of course, this is like the major cover that you have to look out for. Dental for one point two and uh, optical one point two, three million shillings of uh, last expense. The premium here with copayment is three point seven million. Uh, so there's a small difference here of about a hundred thousand, but you're getting the benefits almost double, doubling compared to the gold and diamond. And uh, the premium here, if without uh, without copayment, comes to four point one four two million for the whole year. So the, again, you can see the small difference of about a hundred and twenty thousand, but a big difference in the benefit so something that you should consider uh whenever you are uh thinking of medical for your your senior people their parents and all that and those who have so with that uh, said i would like to remind you to look out for the j health uh, senior package they said they took care of you you take care of them for with our j, j senior health cover so Let's just conclude with these remarks from uh, Martha so that we can now conclude with this discussion. Thank you so much. The insurance company is also unable to plan for you. And so when they fund you, they will, they will have, they might end up paying for you from someone else's <laughs> premiums. But then it's very important for you to play your part such that we are not inconveniencing the insurance player in making promises to the facilities and yet you have already received uh, services from the hospitals. So please play your part, pay the premiums such that the insurance company is able to pay the bills as and when they fold. As health encompasses so many things. So what falls into health might be uh, a hospital cash, might be, uh, say, a package that will, will enable you to have access to gyms. So there are different uh, packages that fall under health because this health is broad. You're looking at someone's health, mental, your, your health mentally, your health psychologically, your health physically, but medical insurance particularly will look to respond to medical bills. And then the insurer pays the medical facility directly. So after you have gone to the medical facility, your medical insurance policy, the insurer pays for the bills to the hospital, to the facility directly. But for health, health is broad. It also, if you're looking at subsets, medical is a subset of health. In health, there are other policies where they might pay you, the policy holder, after you have already spent at the facility. They can also pay you for incapacity. You have had a critical illness. They pay you yourself after you have spent or you have been diagnosed with cancer. You have uh, 
you have discovered that you have HIV. So that's, that's critical illness. It's also part of health, but it, it's not recognized as medical insurance because for it, the money gets paid to the policyholder. So medical in particular, the, the insurer responds to pay medical bills to the hospital after the policyholder has visited the hospital. That is where the difference comes in. Till next time, I'm in Emmanuel San Safali, bring you the Promise Insurance Show. And uh, this time we're featuring uh, the Jubilee Health J Senior cover. Until next time, I'm in Emmanuel San Safali. Stay blessed.